With eight arms to hold you, you probably wouldn't want to wrestle an octopus. Biologist Tammy DeWitt explains why. Remember, my arm has bones and tendons and all that, for an octopus, all that useless stuff. These animals have no bones, so that is pure muscle. And let's not forget the thousands of independently moving suction cups along its grappling arms. Her suction cups alone are so powerful, she'll leave little hickeys all the way up and down your arm. But once she gets one arm, two arm, three arm, and she's holding on with those powerful suction cups, you need to get her off as soon as possible. But don't worry, the Pacific giant octopus isn't the vicious sea monster you see in movies. Now if I put my arm in there, she will hold on to me and she will try to crawl up my arm, but it's not to hurt me. She's just curious, wants to feel, and, and she's tasting with all her suckers. They don't pull down ships and eat sailors. Their curiosity is an extension of their remarkable intelligence, on display here at the National Zoo as this octopus, named Caroline, gets herself a snack. I put the lid on here, and I seal it up tight. I don't give her any breaks. And she's going to get this, Let me screw it on, and she's going to open it up. Caroline, look what I have. They're visual hunters, eating everything from fish to lobsters. They do so with a large beak in the middle of those arms. Just like a parrot's beak. It's the only hard part of her body, so she can fit through anything that that beak can fit through. Which means that this octopus can squeeze itself through a hole about the size of a quarter. So they just put one little arm in and squeeze right through. And she does have hold of the shrimp, so let's see if she's going to be lazy and not open up the jar. But maybe that, that shows how smart she is, is that if she can figure out a way where she doesn't have to do that much exactly. work. Exactly. They sound like the primates of the sea. Right? Yeah, well, they're very, very intelligent. A lot of people compare them to cats or dogs. These octopus actually have the ability to learn by observation. And that's something no other invertebrates can do. A variety of enrichment exercises keeps Caroline occupied. We have hamster balls and, um, you know, quite kind of play school type children's toys, but that she has to pull apart. The octopus moves around with its arms, as well as its siphon, which is also used for respiration. So if she takes a lot of water <gasps> into her mantle, through her gill slits, and then she pushes it out through her siphon really fast, she can jet across the tank really fast. <laughs>